last week in ladies, the tide appeared to continue to change, as for a second week in a row, the gold was not worn by a Japanese or Russian skater. Hyun Lee of Korea skated a clean, determined and dramatic program in moving from third after the short onto the top of the podium to take the title. However, in men, Russia did own two of the three podium positions. Young Daniel Samsonov fought his way into third with qualities not often seen for such a young man. Korea continued its very successful Junior Grand Prix season with Si Yong Lee skating a strong program in capturing the silver. And Andrei Mozilev of Russia skated solid performances, winning both the short and free to take home the gold. In ice dance, Russia also claimed two of the three medals, but the battle for gold was ever so close. Winning silver, Maria Kazakova and Georgi Rivia of Georgia won the free dance with a special performance and missed taking top spot by just 33 one hundredths of a point. Elizaveta Kudaberdieva and Andrei Filatov of Russia also skated beautifully to hang on to the gold. Week four on the Junior Grand Prix takes us to Chelyabinsk, Russia, about two and a half hour flight southeast of Moscow and with a population of just over one million. So what can we expect on the ice this week? Russian skaters will want to produce here at home, and in ladies, we will see week one champion Kamila Valieva of Russia, who can earn her spot to the Junior Grand Prix final with either a silver or gold finish. But she will have stiff competition from her teammate, Zenya Sinasuna of Russia, who was fourth at the last year's Junior World Championships, and Japanese skater Nana Araki, a Junior Grand Prix medalist from 2017. In men, Peter Gumenek of Russia, last year's Junior Grand Prix final silver medalist, will be starting his season here at home. While Ilya Kovler of Canada, medalist from last season, might also be one to look out for. Anything can happen. Really, it's wide open. One has to assume the favorite for dance would be week one champions Elizaveta Shanieva and David Narajny. And for pairs, last year's Junior Grand Prix finalists, Zinya Akinteva and Valerie Kosov. But there's a lot that can happen. Hello everyone, welcome to Chelebents and the Tractor Arena. This event was sold out three months ago with 7,500 seats and the organization has been extraordinary. We have some great skating coming your way, so buckle up for a wild ride and it all starts right now. Welcome everyone to Chelebents, Russia. Beautiful aerial shot of a church. Architecture spectacular. We've had wonderful weather here a few days. Fall light conditions, leaves falling to the ground, changing color as time passes. We move into the skating season, fourth week here in the Junior Grand Prix 2019. The Tractor Arena, spectacular building, the nicest we've been in in the Junior Grand Prix with lots of audience coming through for all the events. This building seats 7,500. And it looks like a good audience for the pairs. Free program, the final, coming up in just a few moments. So far, this event, the men's, the ladies, the pairs, the dance has been dominated by Russian skaters. And I will go back to always will. The basics of skating are so well taught and trained and a necessity to survive and to succeed in Russia. From Canada, Patricia and Andrew. Zachary and here is your judging panel for the Paris Free Program. From China, Moton Lu, Tianze Wang. And now the technical panel.
Just a reminder, our schedules for today and tomorrow. Pairs free program on the ice for their first group warm-up. Then the men's free program goes tonight at 1,700 hours. And tomorrow's schedule, we start with free dance at 10.45 in the morning here in Chelyabinsk. Ladies free program goes at 1,400 hours. And then the medals, all four categories at 18.40. And our road to Torino begins to shorten. We move on to Gdansk, Poland, September 19th to 21st. Zagreb, Croatia, September 26th to 28th. And we'll complete the Junior Grand Prix 2019 series in Enya, Italy, October 3rd to 5th. But don't forget the Junior and Senior Grand Prix Final, Torino, Italy, December 5th to 8th. Here's a look at the skating order for the three teams on the ice. Their warm up. Ladies and gentlemen, your warm-up has ended. Please leave the ice. First Junior Grand Prix season for Anastasia and Danilo. Both born in Ukraine. They're coached and choreographed by Trudy Altmans. And they're skating the free program here tonight to Gravity.
Анастасия Смирнова, Даниил Сеница, The United States of America. Well, this young team doesn't have all the big tricks yet in pairs. They're starting out, got some pretty good basics, good, good in unison, pretty good skating skills, some nice speed. And they're just working their way into those difficult triple throws or the triple jump side by side. Maybe more challenging lifts. Here's the triple twist off the top. Level two, touches on the way down. Got the split, two features. Here's group five toe lift, level two as well. Nice smooth turns, grabs the blade, one arm. And you go for the two features. Good quality, 0.62 plus for the GOE. There's the th throw double loop and that was fine. That's just the stage they're at. Here's the throw triple sow they tried up. Just not tight enough or high enough really on that throw for her to get around. We'll be working on that. Here's the group four hand to hand lift. Basic pressure position. Change of position there to hand to hip. And that is in at a level four. Here's the carry. And the dismount. And the pair combinations with beautiful camels, because look at the turned out toes, the matching legs, good speed. And change position into the sit. This is a pair combo spin level four, uh, plus GOE of 0.26, so good quality on that. But the free program score 81.20 for Anastasia and Danilo. Of course, the first team out. And with a total competition score of 126.89. There's Zachary Dalman, brother of Gabrielle Dalman, Canadian ladies champion, bronze medals from world championships in Helsinki. Representing Canada, Patricia Andrew Zachary. First junior Grand Prix season together. Patricia 14, Zachary 19, coached by Allison Perkis. skating their free program here this afternoon to Aladdin soundtrack by Alan Menken.
Patricia Andrew, Zachary Dalen, Canada. Well, a pretty new team this season, so not a lot of time to get comfortable with each other and organize in competition, especially in an arena that's almost full with people. First time out, not expected on the Junior Grand Prix. And great work on Zachary's part to keep one of those lifts up. It was coming down. A strong young man. Let's take a look at some of the elements. Here's the triple twist fall. What happened here? Oh, just to really on that angle, never had the feet underneath her coming down. She had a surprised look on her face. Here's the double axles. Looks like she almost had that, couldn't push the free leg back. Group five, now watch this, watch Zachary. It doesn't go all the way up. He's sitting, bent arms, pushes that all the way. Wow, and that hand grip starts to loosen, but gets the hip, that's good, and that Group five axle lift is in at level three, and that was a lot to do with Zachary's strength to hold her up there and then get into the change of positions. Great job, Zachary, on that. Throw triple sock out on a big lean, so the feet were not right underneath her on a lean on the landing, but she manages to step out of it. That's good. Here's the throw double lutz. That's okay. Top. Group four lift, this is in at a level four. And look at Patricia's face, she likes to be up in the air. That's good because your pair, girl, pair lady doesn't, doesn't like to be up in the air. You've got problems to begin with. And there's the carry portion of that lift. Yeah, lots of work to be done, repetition, so that all these elements feel second nature, just natural, right? Now they're still new. Still trying to get comfortable with them, with each other. And that just takes time. I was laughing. You forgot about that? Yeah. I was laughing. I was like, oh dear. It was a good fight, you guys. Both programs this week were okay. It's okay. You guys start somewhere. You will laugh about this. Hopefully sooner rather than later. I'm laughing about it now. What are we doing out there? <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Just, the crowd was still really fun to stay in front of. <laughs> yeah. you'll, you'll probably you won't have this again until your <laughs> senior world. So. I feel like there's simply pops once we got selected for you. They're like, you can always can do it. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, they really got behind you, which is kind of cool. Yeah. So and great. at the end, they talked a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, the technical panel looking through six of the elements just to ensure that the calls are accurate. That's one of the good things with the replay system. It allows us to have a whole standard throughout all the teams. Keep it consistent. Let's take a look at the free program scores. Patricia and Zachary. City 8.03, that's second so far in the free program. Total competition score of 11.4. Next to skate, representing China, Moton Lu, Tanze Wang. Well, for Moton and Tanze, second Junior Grand Prix season, she's 15, he is 19, both born in Harbin, and they're coached by former Olympic champion Hong Bo Zhao. 63.85 personal best in the free program and skating here this afternoon to sound of an orchestra.
Tianzi looked like he got tired right way through that program. And just lost the technique on some of those lifts. Take a look. Here's the toe to a flip. No problem here. That was nice. Of course, the Chinese have great throws. One of the things that they first learned. Here's the triple twist. Not as high. Not a little bit too far four, but it's a level two. It's okay. Here's group four lift at level three. And a hand. Just the change of hold and position. You can see his face. He's he's worried. He's looking around going, oh, okay. Oh, just got to keep that lift up there. Not a lot of flows. He's on his toe picks. It almost stopped at the end of that lift. You want to keep those turns moving and keep pushing the girl away from you, pushing her up. So it feels a little lighter and keep the flow going. Here's the toe triple sour. This was nicely done again. There, right on top. On the back, oh, here's the lift that went down. Watch, he's going to lift it from the side. He doesn't push it straight up. He's already leaning back. Far too much on the lean there. He turned his body before he had her up. You need to put her up. Get that arm almost locked before you start to turn. And then he just couldn't save it from there. <laughs> Well, 67.21 for the free program and the third total competition score. She's a little frustrated. 106.33 for the competition that pushed them to the world. The follow-up competitors may now take the ice. From Canada, Brooke McIntosh. Look at that full house here tonight. There's a look at the standing so far after three teams. How nice is that to see the audience full? Well, the Russian fans out to cheer on their Russian athletes. This sport has become one of the most watched, if not the most watched sport in Russia in just the last few years. And a lot of this has come from these young junior ladies from the past two seasons. Shibakova, Chusefa, Kostanaya, who have taken the imagination of the Russian public, as well as Medvedeva, Elena Zagatova, Olympic champion. The sport has brought some beauty and some drama into Russian sport world. And the fans have followed every competition is full just like in Japan it's a tough ticket to get and it's great we hope this happens more that's why one of the reasons we want to expose the sport around the world it's an incredible unbelievable sport it's hard especially when you're watching the juniors with skaters that don't have the same facilities at this point and it's so difficult to do what they do but when you start to watch it come together it's so beautiful and athletic, it's art, it's entertainment, and most importantly, it's sport.
And a look at the starting order for group two, finishing up their warm up. Ladies and gentlemen, your warm up has ended. Please leave the ice. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Canada. The second Brooke junior Grand Prix Brandon season for Brandon Brooke Thomas. and Brandon. She's 14, he is 16. They're coached by Andrew Evans, doing such a good job. Choreographed by Mary Angela Larmer. 87.68, their personal best in the free program skating tonight to Piano Fantasy by William Joseph.
Scotch, Brandon Toast, Canada. Well, that was a great skate. And it's funny, at the end of the program, you could see a, a smile creeping onto Brandon's face. Not much from Brooke there. I think they're just concentrating, take the, the bow at the end. We'll see more reaction in the kiss and cry. But boy, they really hung on to the elements. Brooke was great on the throws, fighting to hang on to those edges. And Brandon did a great job on the lifts. Super. Yeah, lots of refinement yet to you know, creep in there, be built in there. And connection between the two, that's always so important. Here's the triple twist in at level three. So nice catch on that. Throw triple toe loop. Watch her fight for that land. A little bit back in the heel, but she pushes the free leg back. So she stabilizes the landing. Here's the group three lift in at level four. This is Carey, so he's got the hand on the hip. And he's skating with her, carrying. And then we'll see. There's the start of the turn and the change of position, gathering the features. In the group five step lift. Here we go. Up nice and strong and straight. Good turned out toes by Brooke. Nicely done. Catches the leg and the dismount. Level four. Good. Here's the throw triple Salkow. There it is. Watch her fight for this landing. Just hangs on, pushes the free leg back as fast as she can, and now close it out with the forward inside desk bar. That is in at level two. But good program. They kept it all together, kept fighting throughout. Yeah, nice job. Hi, everyone. Okay, now he sees some smiles. Let's take a look at the three program scores for Brooke and Brandon. Season's best, 88.84. Okay, good. Not of approval. Brooke's still not sure, but that's first in the three program so far with 137.24. And that puts both Brooke and Brandon currently in the first place. Nice job. Well, that's probably the biggest audience they've skated in front of, maybe, in their career, I'm not sure. Next to skate, representing the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, Ron Kyung Min, Han Kung Cho. Well, second junior, junior Grand Prix season, Hey Young, 16, come cool. 20, 40, uh, 61.47 personal best. They're skating the butterfly by Bernie Lowe for the free program.
Rohyangni, Han Kung Cho, Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Well, let me tell you, that is a very strong pair program. You didn't see that in the short program last night. They were nervous, and you could see it in their skating. So people thought, oh, okay, there, you can, there's some potential there, but there's a not tonight. Solid from top to bottom. And as they always do, a little bow to their coach. But, wow, was that ever strong. Very classic in line, beautiful body lines. He's a strong young man. And so she, here's the twist, in at level two. No split, there's the catch, hands over the head. Here's the triple toe, double toe, look how nice this is. Right in unison. Throw triple flip. He gets her high enough that even the slower rotation is not a problem for that for her. Right on top on the landing, watch this scoop five axle lift. Then spread eagle. Nice turned out toes, good air position, change of position, change of hold. Yeah, beautiful. And then throw triple sow cow. Every element except for the single sow cow, the, we didn't show you that, but uh, is in the pluses in the GOE and many of them are above one. So the, certainly the quality of what they're performed here, look how easy it was for him to skate around that corner with her above in a beautiful position. And there's the back outside desk bar. This is a very skilled team. This is a team that will move into seniors quite nicely. Still some things under construction, but nevertheless, quality. And the elements. And at least for him, you can see a lot of joy. He loves to compete. Great job. One hundred and five point seven seven. That's a good score. All three applaud that score. The 161.13 for the competition. Hug from the coach. There we go. A lot of joy in the kiss and cry. Clearly in the lead. Nice to be rewarded for some quality work. Beautifully done. Next to skate. Representing Russia, Stanislava Mislavokova, Alexei Well, Stanislava and Alexei, she is 15, he is 17. They're coached by former Olympic champion Oleg Valis Vasiliev and Oksana Kazakova. Skating the free program to try to climb onto the podium to the dance of the nights from Romeo and Juliet.
Станислава Иснобокова, Алексей Брюханов, Россия. Well, this team has only one speed throughout the program, and that is full. Aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. They use the momentum to their advantage. They do not hold back. She's giving them a little lecture on the way out of the ice, <laughs> or discussion on the way off. Oh, what a great job. They desperately want to be on the podium, close. There's a look at the triple twist, the level three split. Hands did not touch, got a good catch. Let's take a look at the throw. Triple loop, you can see how she twists her body. It's, it's sort of a bit odd. She'll break in the waist and she'll throw her shoulders up to help on that twist. We'll see the same thing on, this, on the Lutz in a minute. There's a group five reversal. How hard is that on that pickup? There's a one hand so perfectly balanced. She did, dare not move at all, and she doesn't. Here's the, watch her upper body. Sort of bends forward and twists. I don't know, that's something probably will be fixed in the future. We just want her to stay still and keep that body position in the core straight and strong. Beautiful lay, uh, hand back. Beautiful position, it's a level four. So well trained. They weren't dealing with a lot of fatigue at the end because they're in such great shape. Yeah, so nice. There's Bolik Vasiliev, the champion, the kiss and cry with them. See a pretty good score here. They needed to skate well. That Korean team that just was in front of them had a great score. So look, free program score 105.92. That's first of the free program. Safe to stay in the lead with a total competition score. 166.18. It's close though. Oh. There we go. Never heard that in a few years. <laughs> Lack of an audience response. Let's take a look at the standings after two groups. There it is, Stanislava and Alexei. 166.18. Five points ahead of the team. From the Republic of Korea. The Democratic Republic of Korea. And as we go to the ice resurfacing, we're going to send you back to the 2018 in Richmond, Canada, Anastasia Machina and Alexander Kelimov of Russia. Enjoy. Anastasia 17, Alexander 19, first junior Grand Prix season. They were first in Bratislava, 64.38 in the short program. Knights the free, 120.42 for the free program in Bratislava, skating to the master in the Margarita soundtrack.
Ladies and gentlemen, from Russia, Anastasia Mishina and Alexander Galiamo. Well, this is really quite a remarkable young pair team. He is so solid. She, confident. She knows exactly where she is in the air at all times. Very comfortable up there. We'll see that on the throws and on the lifts. He's so strong. He's agile in his jumping. Superb jumps, individual skating skills, her awareness in the air. Fully comfortable. Extremely bright future for this team. Packed with difficulty. We will see a very big score here. Take a look, here's the triple twist. It is in the system at level three. Split, hands down, nice catch. Here's the throw, triple loop. Watch her check out right now. She opens that up before she's finished the three so that as she hits the ice, she's right on top. Take a look, triple sow. Beautiful, look at the speed of that. Euler up into another triple sow cow. It's a little under rotated the system, it's okay. Still great number of points there. Look at these triple toe loops, just beautifully executed. Synchronization. Quality, just superb. Here's the five reverse lift so difficult one of the most difficult of all the lifts grabs the blade look at the smooth turns good footwork and the disc one arm dismount the level four watch the group four lift so solid her position doesn't move an inch he's got great footwork on those turns so she feels Stable. Watch when she opens up again. Throw triple salcow and she opens right there. You see her open just about a quarter rotation left. So by the time she hits the ice, she's square. Very nice. And they're professional all the way. Great performance skills as well. The scores, please. Should be big. Anastasia Mishina and Alexander Galiamov. 122.49. That's the first season's best. That's first place in the free. A new season's best with a total score of. 187.71. Anastasia and Alexander currently in first.
welcome back to Chelyabinsk, Russia. The third and final group in the pair event about to take to the ice. Champions will be crowned, points will be gained on the way, on the road to Torino in the Grand Prix Final. Look at downtown, beautiful university here as well. And the Tractor Arena, home for this Junior Grand Prix Week 4. Welcome live inside the building. It's a full house, just coming back from a break. Great size audience here. I don't think any juniors have skated on the Junior Grand Prix with such a large audience, certainly in the six years that we've been doing this. This is the best and the biggest audience we've had so far. It's so good to see the Junior Grand Prix and the junior athletes around the world gaining the recognition online and live audiences coming into the building. Not always, but a little bit more often than it was in the past. And there's a look at the standing so far. Three teams on the ice, all Russian teams on the warm-up. The Grand Prix Final, at least in the juniors for sure, is going to be a remarkable competition. The gap is closing between juniors and seniors. We knew that in the ladies. It's getting a little bit tighter in the pairs as well.
there's a look at the warm-up group three, the skating order. And it's going to be a close competition. Will those positions change? Will the points change towards the final? We'll find out in just a few moments. Разминка завершена. Просим спортсменов покинуть лед. Ladies and gentlemen, your warm-up has ended. Please leave the ice. На лед. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Russia, Diana Mohamedzina. Well, the first Junior Grand Prix Diana season Mirona. for Diana Emilia. She's 15, he is 18. Born in Kazan and Moscow. Third after the short program. And they're skating the free to the end game from the musical chess.
Диана Мухаметзянова, Илья Миронов, Ваша. Вот this team just laid down the gauntlet and said, "Okay, now beat that." Some remarkable elements. I've never seen a junior pair team land a triple lutz and a triple flip by side side by side elements. A jump elements in a free program ever. Most certain that is not a regularity. So that will earn some big points, but there's some also other great elements. Here's the triple twist problem there on the landing. That's a minus 0.58 and a minus 0 0.1.05. There's the triple lats, single toe, out of sync for sure, and to double toe. Minus 1.26, and there's the throw triple lutz or flip, I guess. A point plus 0.83. Look at this group five reverse lift, so difficult. I have to carefully change the position and the handhold. They just got the blade the back. That's a level four with a 1.10. Look at the triple flip here. Yeah, no problem. Then the throw triple sow cow. This young lady is so strong and aware of where she is in the air. Look at that kick over the head. And then the group four lift in at level four right at the end of the program. So strong, it didn't look like the, any fatigue came into this team. And they were determined. They're in third, they want more. They go four points out of second. But the pressure's on. They've done their job. Всем спасибо, всем привет. Вдохновение, привет. Сережа, Дима, Саня, Рома, Некит, Леха, Карис. И Паша, и Паша Остап. Мы старались. Кнохин, Мирин. And certainly there's always room for growth as they mature into the presentation, but it was a good choice of music for them where they could just push through and use the tone of the music, the aggressiveness of their skating. It wasn't a soft romantic piece, more challenging for young skaters. Well, let's take a look. Free program score for Diana and Neil Yuck. Should be pretty high. She should do it. Diana Mugatiana. 108.84. That's first in the free program. Total competition score of 171.88. Also, overall, that's the first place. They've done their job. They've got their score. Now, they have to sit and wait.
Este, y en donde la mañana tiene que ver en esta. На лед приглашаются следующие участники. Next to speak, representing Russia, Ksenia Akhantiva, Valery Gorisov. Fourth junior Grand Prix season. Ksenia, 16. Valery, 18. Coached by Ludmila Nikolai and Vasily Belikov. 118.72 personal best last season. Good score. They're skating tonight to shine on you. Crazy Diamond by Pink Floyd. Look, the elements, for the most part, are in the mid to high ones. 
for the quality for the GOE, so they're going to collect a lot of points there. I think this is a great team, terrific technical work, no question. The music's pretty much stayed at one pace throughout the program, so there wasn't really an option to boost those PCs with performance and choreography and interpretation and whatnot. It's a junior, that's okay, and that's where it's at right now. Here's the twist. Nice catch right on the hips. That's a level three, so good points there. There's the throw, triple flip. A 1.36 positive GOE. Now there's some ninuses here. Here's the triple sow cow, ruler, and then double sow cow. They went far apart. It was a minus 0 0.80. Here's the triple toe loop after that. I wanted to show these because I want to show the technical proficiencies. There's certainly strong single skaters, outstanding pair skaters technically. There's a throw triple loop. Look at the speed and the flow on that landing. Just beautiful. And here is that group three lift right at the end of the program. It's a level four with a 1.31 positive GOE adding to the points. The good quality of that lift. But from a program perspective, overall, it's good for juniors, it really is. But for seniors, you can need a little bit more depth. They've got time to develop that in a program that reaches outside of just the technical elements. But right now, you've got those te technical elements with such great quality. That's the strategy, and that's the delivery, you know, the result for that. Nicely done. They should be able to retain that top spot for sure. Eyes on the video board, waiting for the scores. 117.43, that's the season's best. That's first in the free program. Moderately happy with that, with a 185.05 for the competition. And then yeah, and Valerie take over, or retain first spot. One team at to skate. Next to skate, representing Russia, Yulia Artemyeva. First junior Grand Prix season for Yulia Mikhail. She's 14, he is 18. And they're going to skate their free program. They're the last team here tonight. We'll see where they end up on the podium. They're going to skate to the great music and the great band, Queen Bohemian Rhapsody.
Юлия Артемьева, Михаил Назаричев, Раша. Well, you have to admire all skaters, but wow, pair young ladies is just incredible. There's just an internal toughness, and you can see she's a little upset with those falls and the throws. They were huge throws, just a little bit too far forward on both landings, and just slipped off. We'll look at that in just a moment. Well, what a great team. They may not hold on to that second spot the second position we'll see let's look at some of the elements here's the triple twist it's a level three with a 1.63 plus look at the catch right on the hip nice and clean double axle okay thought oh, okay double axles earlier into the triple salco done nicely in within unison that's a plus as well triple toe loops made that look easy Here's the throw, triple lutz. Let's see where she lands forward. Yeah. And that landing foot just could not hold the weight going forward. Same thing here, too far forward. Breaking at the waist. You need to stay strong, stay, trust that position, that straight position. Here's a group five reverse lift, so difficult. That's a level four with a 1.60 plus GOE for the quality. Look at the speed, continues all the way through. Stops for the carry. Completely focused. And here's group four left at the end. That's a level four, the 1.02 plus on the GOE for the quality of the element. This falls, please. So let's take a look, and see where they end up. Free program scores 111.19. That's second in the free program. You can see she clapped to hands. Yulia, she says, okay, okay, we're safe. We're gonna keep the silver. Total competition score of 178.31. They've got the silver. Disappointment diverted. They're in the running. The Junior Grand Prix Final. Another competition, but mission accomplished here. So strong. You see the top four teams, Russians. It's quite remarkable. Zenia and Valerie, 185.05. Yulia Mikhail, 178.31. And Diana and Ilya, 171.88. Your top three. It's pretty good skating at the top there. Bodes well for the senior pair events in Russia coming up and for the team as they move forward in the World Championships in years to come and Olympics. Russia's looking very, very, very healthy for those Olympic Games a couple years off. And here's our schedule for the rest of today. The men's free program will take to the ice at 1,700 hours and then tomorrow on Saturday. The free dance goes at 10.45 tomorrow morning. The ladies' free program at 1,400 hours. The medal ceremony is tomorrow night at 18.40. And our road to Torino gets shorter. Gdansk, Poland next week, September 19th to 21st. Zagreb, Croatia, September 26th to 28th. And then Enya, Italy will close out the Junior Grand Prix Series, October 3rd to 5th. And don't forget, Torino, Italy will host the Junior and Senior Grand Prix Final December 5th to 8th. That concludes our coverage of the Paris free program, the men's free, coming up in just a little bit. So make sure you stay with us or join us in just a little while.